Sup guys, gonna go over the new event featuring Bismarck Zwei. As always with my breakdowns, I won't be reading all the skills, but I'll leave a link to the data mine so you can read it at your own pace on your own time. Starting with Bismarck, who obviously has high stats as expected of an ultra rare ship. Just reading these numbers don't have much meaning without a reference. Since there's quite a bit of similarity between her and New Jersey, I will be doing a comparison between the two. And just a quick disclaimer, I'm basing this on what is shown in the data mine up to this point, so things may change after a few days or something might have been overlooked. Alright, so to start off, Bismarck has higher total FP despite having lower base FP because New Jersey has to take a destroyer secondary, which means that Bismarck will gain anywhere from 10 to 30 more FP based on her secondaries alone. This makes up for her lower base, and both of their total FP bonuses are the same at 25%. She also has 5% more main gun efficiency, which can never hurt, and she also has 5% more reload from her reload buff, which will help when sinking with Vanguard. Furthermore, she also crits the first volley of every salvo, essentially giving her a base shelling crit rate of about 40%. And just to quickly break that down, 33% of her shells are guaranteed to crit, and then the remaining 67% of her shells have a natural crit rate of about 10% or so, but the remaining shells will usually have a lower hit rate than the first volley since they don't have the slowdown effect. So you end up with about 40% of her shells critting on average as a conservative estimation. Since her crit rate is so high, don't forget to give her a white shell at all times. Now let's take a look at New Jersey. Her hit rate is slightly higher on base stats alone, but it doesn't really matter because she will generally have a black shell equipped for the crit rate, but her crit rate will still be lower than that of Bismarck's. And the accuracy from Bismarck's white shell will make up for the difference in hit rate while increasing Bismarck's crit damage further. The biggest advantage that New Jersey has is her spread reduction, which is most noticeable with the SAP gun against medium armor enemies. Bismarck can catch up via buffs and the Admiralty fire control radar, but most of the time Musashi will be the beneficiary of said buffs. However, I don't think the spread reduction alone makes up for all the things that Bismarck has going for her especially when we consider their skill effects and the limited amount of slots in the fleet. So now let's take a look at their skills. Obviously, Bismarck's faction buffs are not only stronger but more diverse and relevant, as USS battleships outside of New Jersey herself are in quite a sorry state. Bismarck's buffs are especially relevant when we consider the power of A-Gear, FDG, UVH, and Brunhilde, and especially when you're against the light armor enemy where Musashi is currently not very good. When it comes to barrages, Bismarck's is weaker on odd numbered salvos and stronger on even numbered salvos, and the stronger version is comparable to Musashi's, but the damage is skewed in the opposite direction for Musashi's toward lighter armors. The ballistics are also quite similar to Musashi's, dropping lightning directly on the target, but instead of purple lightning, hers is black. On odd salvos, she also summons a pet Odin, whose damage is difficult to judge on paper. On average though, if you consider the damage from the pet she summons, her barrage deals higher damage per proc than New Jersey's, but New Jersey does get an extra barrage 10 seconds into the battle, which will skew things in her favor the shorter the fight is. Another difference between the two is that New Jersey's barrage inflicts a 5% special armor break, while Bismarck summons a black hole, which sucks in nearby enemies for 3 seconds. Bismarck's effect is generally much more useful since battleships don't have a slowing support on the level of implacable, but the window is a bit too short. However, it is long enough to set up her own barrage quite easily, at least, whereas New Jersey will often whiff her own barrage against faster enemies without proper setup, which usually means help from another ship. Finally, they have essentially the same crossfleet buff for their respective nations, but in this case, New Jersey's is definitely more relevant based on the choices you get. Overall, I would say that Bismarck will likely be better than New Jersey in most scenarios based on her higher raw damage, easier time sinking with Vanguard, better support via her black hole, and more relevant nation buffs. The only time New Jersey will outperform her will likely be against an enemy that is not light armored, stationary, and has a small hitbox, where she can take full advantage of her spread reduction. Alright, now we can finally move on, and the rest should be much more concise. Regensburg does not have very impressive stats. Her skill 1 has a lock-on debuff, which will surely bait a lot of players into thinking she's some kind of boss fleet buffer, but it's actually quite useless in my opinion. First of all, 15 seconds is quite a pain to sync with, and undoable with Iron Blood carriers. 
The window of it is 5 seconds, and even if you were able to sync perfectly with it, most battleship setups will take more than 5 seconds to finish firing all their salvos. Keep in mind the debuff only works for Iron Blood ships. Additionally, if you choose to use her against the boss, her skill on Barrage, that triggers when a locked on enemy dies will never trigger. Her all out assault doesn't have particularly high frequency because she doesn't get to use a destroyer gun, and it won't always be enhanced as well because the window for the lock on is only a third of the time. Even if you were to use her in the mob fleet, she doesn't really have Scylla numbers on her barrages anyway, so her damage will only be decent but not outstanding. She's also not particularly tanky and doesn't provide AA like Scylla does. She is however pretty hot. Next, I'm gonna attempt to say this destroyer's name. Otto von Alvinsleben. Hopefully that was not too terrible. One thing that stands out right away is her 3k base HP, which is very high for a destroyer, and combined with the 30% auxiliary DD perk and the evasion rate buff from her skill too, she is very sturdy as far as destroyers go and will not have much issue tanking in chapter 14. Her skill 1 is a very strong timed barrage, which is where a lot of her damage will come from, but due to her one main gun mount, mediocre torps, and firepower, she won't be competing with the best of the best in the destroyer class in terms of damage. As for her all out assault perk, if you have the rainbow light cruiser gun and you want to use it on her, then her barrage will proc about as often as if you are using a fast destroyer gun like the 114mm, but the gun DPS will be lower. She will get an additional 40 FP, which might offset the gun DPS as well as the pierce, but it probably won't be worth considering once the rainbow DD gun comes out. Next up is Jade, who is a purple light cruiser with 6 planes. However, she happens to have a 45% aviation and accuracy buff, so her damage is actually closer to that of 8 plane light carriers such as Centaur, Albion, Theseus, and so on, as opposed to 6 plane light carriers. Unfortunately, she doesn't offer much aside from damage, so even though she will be quite easy to use, she doesn't really offer much to the fleet, as even in terms of damage, there are countless better options. Since she has very high reload though, she will often strike first and more often while leveling, leading to a lot of stolen MVPs and new players running around telling people how sleeper OP she is. Next up is U556 meta. She's a pretty straightforward sub that doesn't require any restrictive team building, and totaling all of her buffs, she ends up being stronger than U47, especially against Operation Siren bosses. Keep in mind that although U47's buff increases her damage dealt by 40%, the first torp which applies the debuff will not receive the bonus, the debuff will wear off and she will have to reapply the debuff, making it quite a bit lower than 40% in practice. If you've used U47, then you'll have a frame of reference as to how strong U556 meta should be, and a fleet of Leonardo da Vinci, U556 meta and U47 will work brilliantly. As with all submarines that have a regular amount of oxygen, her loadout will be 2 bitters, hull and snorkel. Last, but certainly not least, we have Nelson Retrofit. She now has the second highest base accuracy of all battleships, only after Warspite, with very high firepower as well, and then 15% buffs to both stats on top of that. Her main gun efficiency has skyrocketed to 145%, making her shelling very potent, and her big 7 has been buffed and now has a proc rate of 100%. Since she wants to take damage 3 times for the buffs, it will be a good idea, in most fights, to put the Nelson flag on her. She is now a top top tier mopping flagship and should be one of the first ships new players should strive to obtain. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this update. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one.